let's take a look at uh, some of the fonts I used. This was my first phone. It was a Nokia. Any idea what the name is? It was called uh, Nokia 2100. It cost me around uh, 6000 rupees or around uh, 100 dollars. Not many stores were uh, selling this. So I had to go to a special store to get this. It was in uh, 2003 and uh, I used it for uh, 8 months. By the end of it, uh, I was pretty good at uh, using it. I could use the phone uh, quite fast by just using the number keypad rather than using the menu. Again, uh, it had quite a few features, but uh, it was mostly calls and SMS. Battery lasted uh, two to three days though, so that was nice. So the next one was the Sony Ericsson phone, which had a color screen. It was called uh, Sony Ericsson T630. It cost me around uh, 8,000 rupees or around uh, 120 dollars. The boxes, uh, these phones came were uh, quite big compared to what we get now. This phone had a camera, even though it was very tiny though. I used it for uh, one and a half year. It was in uh, 2004. And this also had uh, quite a few games too. The color screen was uh, quite impressive for the time though. The joystick controller in the middle uh, eventually broke by the time I was done with it. Next came the Nokia phone. This had both the front facing and the back facing camera. The back camera was quite good, but the front camera was pretty useless because you couldn't use it for anything. Even though they promised a video chat, the network was not uh, that good at the time. Cost me around uh, 15,000 rupees or around uh, 225 dollars. It had uh, quite an impressive uh, screen which was uh, very big and the camera on the back was also quite good for the time. I bought this in uh, 2005, used it for a uh, one and a half year. Again, I uh, really liked this phone. It was a Windows mobile phone called uh, Dopod 818 Pro. It came with a stylus. Windows UI was quite crappy to use, but uh, it was amazing what you could do on this phone. It had the start uh, button and uh, menus and everything. It was quite fun to use though. I paid around uh, 23,000 or around uh, 345 rupees. I bought it in uh, 2007, used it for uh, 11 months. And uh, it was eventually replaced by yep, the iPhone. This was something uh, magical. I couldn't believe uh, how slick the UI and the phone was. Even though it had no apps, it worked uh, quite amazingly. Everyone I showed this to was uh, quite impressed. The pinch and zoom was uh, kind of uh, amazing to experience and see. I had to jailbreak it to make it work in India. It cost me around uh, 27,000 or around uh, 400 dollars. It was very pricey and uh, none of the shops were selling it. So I had to go to a special store to get it. I bought it in uh, 2007, few months after launch, used it for uh, two years, it was really fun to use it. After uh, using iPhone, I was quite tired about uh, jailbreaking, so I switched to Android and got this uh, HTC Hero, it had uh, quite a few widgets. 
paid about 3200 for this or around uh, 475 dollars it was in uh, 2009 used it for uh, 11 months you could uh, customize it a lot I wanted a really good camera so I got this Samsung Ultra Touch it had a 16 megapixel camera paid about uh, 15,000 rupees or around uh, 225 dollars the phone was really slow to use and the interface was uh, quite bad even though it could take uh, good photos it was quite hard to do anything with those photos even copying them was uh, quite a hard thing to do and that uh, widget interface was uh, quite horrible to use in uh, 2009 i only used it for uh, one month and uh, tried something new looked quite businessy and uh, cool i really wanted to use the chatting app none of my friends had it so never used it really like the keyboard though operating system was a uh, really bad cost me around uh, 16,000 rupees or around uh, 235 dollars this was in 2009 only used it for uh, two months and uh, gave it away it needed a special email and uh, internet connections interface to set it up was also really bad you had to reset it quite a few times so i eventually gave up and went to windows mobile bought the htc hd7 i really liked the tile interface this was the first version of windows mobile so it was really painful to use the interface was uh, quite good but uh, there were no apps none of the major apps were uh, available on the platform cost me around uh, 30300 or around uh, 450 dollars bought this in 2010 i still used it for uh, eight months then i got the samsung galaxy s2 it was a really good phone with a quite a nice screen it was really fast too paid about uh, 30600 or around uh, 455 dollars used it for uh, 17 months in uh, 2011 i gave this up after uh, two years because it never got any updates then i went to iphone 5 it didn't need any jailbreaks so it was really fun to use worked really well paid about uh, 45,000 or around uh, 670 dollars i bought it in 2013 and uh, used it for uh, two years then bought the iphone 6 this was the perfect phone nice screen very nice design and the minimal ui was uh, really nice paid about 53,000 or around uh, 790 dollars quite pricey though bought it in 2014 used it for uh, 19 months before uh, it broke then i had to travel for a few days so i desperately needed a phone so i got this uh, cheap samsung uh, guru it was quite a good phone the battery lasted uh, more than a week but you could only use it for uh, calls and messaging though but a really tiny phone and a pretty impressive battery paid about uh, 1200 rupees or around uh, 20 dollars or so used it for uh, one month in uh, 2016 then i got this cheap android phone called a uh, redmi 2 prime the interface looks quite uh, close to what uh, apple's ui looks like really nice specs for the price i paid about uh, 7000 rupees or around uh, 110 dollars this is by xiaomi used it for uh, one month in 2016 
I switch to this life win for only because uh, it came with a free 4G SIM and a free internet for uh, six months. Paid about uh, 8,500 or around uh, 125 dollars. I am still using this for a uh, free 4G internet. It's been nearly eight months. I rarely used this phone. I was only using the 4G hotspot on this phone. I only bought this phone because uh, that was the only way to get the free 4G internet. I wanted to buy the iPhone 7, but I got the iPhone 7 Plus just for the camera. I think the iPhone 7 would have been the perfect uh, sized phone because the 7 plus is quite big paid about uh, 72,000 rupees or around uh, 1,075 dollars got this in uh, 2017 this is the 7 plus really nice phone can't wait to see what's out there quite nice check it out Let's take a look at this Moji gel ink pen set. You get a 12 colors with a 0.5 mm tip made in Japan. This costs around 990 rupees or around 15 dollars or so. It comes in this plastic case. These are all the colors we get. That's how the pen looks. Nicely designed. Okay, now you can remove this. Moji means no branding. That's why you don't see anything on the pen. And uh, it's really beautiful design. You can see the cap is the same color as the ink in the pen. And uh, it's also refillable. That's how the gel pen looks, really well designed. So let's draw something with this. It writes really smoothly. The ink is also really pigmented and uh, colorful. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Win Greens nachos. These are by Win Green Farms. Peri Peri sauce, extra spicy, traditionally homemade. Again, uh, interesting packaging. You get uh, nachos on the bottom and the Peri Peri sauce on the top. It has ingredient list for uh, both the peri peri sauce and the nachos. Costs around uh, 99 rupees or around uh, 2 dollars or so. Manufactured by Women's Initiative Network in uh, Haryana, India. It's a vegetarian product.
and it's definitely extra spicy and uh, quite nice nachos too really nice nachos and uh, salsa quite nice check it out any idea what this is it's bendable let's take a look at this LED bendable book light that's how it looks costs around uh, 200 rupees or around uh, four dollars or so this is where the battery was that's how the battery looks to switch it on just turn this button it's bright enough to light up a book you can put it over a book like this or like this Or like this there is a metal sheet uh, below this rubber skin so it holds uh, any shape you bend it into you can adjust this to any angle you want all you need to do is uh, just put this over your book and uh, bend it uh, to your liking quite nice check it out let's take a look at these uh, keto juices this is the lychee one this is the grape one both of these are uh, cost uh, 55 rupees each or around uh, 80 cents each that's the Nutritional info product of uh, Thailand. Colorful packaging. The color looks really nice with the Nata de Coco jelly in it. Let's taste it. amazing lychee flavor and the nata de coco jelly tastes just like the lychee fruit such a nice combination very nice grape drink if you ever uh, try drinks with the uh, nata de coco jelly in it lychee and uh, grape are the perfect flavors for it really tasty quite nice check it out let's take a look at this Eno family card game by Parmar products you get a uh, 110 cards two to ten players can uh, play this game age between uh, 7 and 70 it's manufactured in uh, Mumbai Costs around uh, 53 rupees or around uh, 80 cents or so. I'm not sure if uh, this comes with the instruction sheet or not, but uh, they didn't have any in this. You can uh, play with these cards uh, using regular, uh, you know, card rules. I think the instruction sheet was uh, lost somewhere. Maybe it had a different scoring or a rules, but uh, we'll never know unless you can play this with the you know rules. Quite nice. Check it out. 
let's take a look at this brookside dark chocolate this has a blueberry and a acai flavored center chocolate you can see some of the blueberry and acai on the packaging that's how the chocolate looks costs around 50 rupees or around 85 cents it's manufactured in Gujarat, India the center filling is made with the sugar liquid glucose fruit pulp acai blueberry stabilizers it has a 10 percent fruit pulp nine percent papaya and a very little acai and a blueberry let's taste it that's how it looks let's taste it even though there is very little blueberry and acai in it, it has a lot of flavor. Very tasty. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Colgate toothpaste. This comes with a free magic space adventure inside. Cut, play and learn. It looks like it's a regular toothpaste. Inside you get a space adventure. There are uh, three of them to collect. Costs around uh, 20 rupees. 100% vegetarian. Manufactured in uh, India. It also has uh, all the details in uh, Hindi. It's just a regular white toothpaste. The tube is made out of plastic. This is what you get. Let's cut it. This is what you get once you cut the whole thing. You get few planets, a spaceship, and that background. Not a bad area to make something uh, playful with the packaging, which would have otherwise been uh, thrown away. Besides uh, each of these drawings, they also had uh, some facts on it, so kids could uh, read them. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this peppermint chocolate. We get two flavors orange and uh, raspberries the chocolate looks like a Toblerone it has a lot of info it's from uh, Turkey costs around uh, 25 rupees or around uh, 35 cents or so so let's taste it It has some kind of a uh, white cream in the bottom. Really nice chocolate, but only a hint of a uh, orange flavor. This is also quite good chocolate, but uh, Again, uh, only a hint of raspberry flavor. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this mana drink mixes. We get uh, two different ones. This is balam mix or uh, almond mix. This is ragi malt, which is a finger millet uh, cereal. 
each of them cause a fire piece or a tension also. Both of them have a very few ingredients. This has a sucrose, almond, cashew nut, starch, milk powder, cardamom powder and a synthetic food color. This one has a malted ragi, sucrose, edible starch, cardamom and a color. That's the nutritional info. Instructions on uh, how to prepare. Mix it with some uh, hot or cold milk and uh, add sugar to taste. These are manufactured in uh, Chennai, India. So let's make them. This is how they look uh, once they are mixed. This smells quite amazing and the cardamom and uh, almond flavor uh, really come through. Very tasty. This too tastes uh, quite good. It has a natural uh, flavor to it. Very unique, really interesting drinks, very flavorful, quite nice, check it out.